Today, we're diving into one of the most fascinating parts of our planet, ecosystems. You might have heard the word ecosystem before, but what exactly is it? Well, think of it as nature's version of a super connected living network. It's all about how living things like plants, animals, and even tiny microbes interact with one another and with their environment. Ready? Let's jump in. First things first, what exactly is an ecosystem? An ecosystem is a community of living organisms like plants, animals, and bacteria that all live in the same area and interact with each other and the environment around them. But it's not just about the living things. It also includes non-living components like air, water, soil, and sunlight. All of these pieces work together in a delicate balance, creating a web of life that helps keep everything running smoothly. Imagine a forest. In this ecosystem, you've got trees, plants, animals like squirrels and birds, insects like ants and butterflies, and even tiny fungi growing in the soil. But the forest isn't just about the living things. The soil provides nutrients for the plants, the sun helps them grow, the air carries oxygen, and the rain provides water. Everything is connected like parts of a puzzle, and every piece plays an important role. Now, ecosystems come in all shapes and sizes. You can have large ecosystems, like rainforests or oceans, or small ones, like a pond or even a garden in your backyard. No matter the size, the key is that all the living things in an ecosystem depend on each other and their surroundings. For example, in a pond ecosystem, fish need clean water to survive, while plants in the pond need sunlight to grow, and insects might rely on the plants for food. Let's talk a little more about interactions. In every ecosystem, organisms interact in different ways. One big example is the food chain. In a forest ecosystem, plants use sunlight to make their own food. They're called producers. Animals like deer, which are herbivores, eat the plants, and predators like wolves or carnivores eat the herbivores. It's a cycle of energy moving through the ecosystem. Without plants, herbivores wouldn't have food and without herbivores, carnivores wouldn't either. Everything is connected. But it's not just about eating. Organisms also interact with each other in other ways, like helping each other out. This is called mutualism. For instance, bees pollinate flowers while collecting nectar for food. The bees get a meal, and the flowers get pollinated so they can reproduce. It's a win-win for both. The environment also plays a big part in how ecosystems function. The amount of sunlight, the temperature, and the amount of water available all influence what kind of organisms can survive in a particular ecosystem. That's why you won't find the same plants and animals in a desert ecosystem as you would in a rainforest. They're adapted to very different conditions. So what's the big picture? An ecosystem is all about balance. The living organisms in an ecosystem rely on each other and their environment to survive. When everything's in harmony, Ecosystems can be healthy and sustainable, but when something disrupts that balance, like pollution, climate change, or habitat destruction, the whole ecosystem can be thrown off. That's it for today's lesson. Next time you're outside, take a closer look at the plants, animals, and environment around you. Whether it's a park, a pond, or your own backyard, you're standing in the middle of an ecosystem, full of interactions that keep life thriving.